I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, that's all right. No, I'm not gonna get some. Oh, you're gonna get. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, I'll give you all that. I'm gonna go get some water. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to take your cup with me just in case you want? I can bring you some now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I'm about being. No, I don't mind. Right. Hey. What's that? I'm walking that way anyways. I'll get you some more. It might help you stay awake a little bit. To refresh you. I'll be right back. Thank you. Scares me every time I just that. I don't know. I'm good at it. <laughs> well, what was bad? Air. Yeah. Okay. What's bad is before. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. Before this was not locked, and some people would go that door, and like if you forgot to lock it before you started talking, like people would <laughs> walk in on you. Mm -hmm. But anyways. All right. Mark, what do you got? Uh, love this. Love this. Um, just watch where he leans across and dusts off the seat. Now, that could be an adapter of some sort. That could be anxiety. Uh, I'm going to read it. <laughs> that might be my bias. I'm going to read it that he actually cares for her now and that he's making sure her seat is okay because he has, she has managed to get him to have that father-daughter bond with it. I, I'm going to read it as that just because I would like that to be the case. It could be just a nervous adapter. We do see him uh, do something similar around the the, the table. Um, he does a knock on wood gesture. Now, is that a knock on wood gesture or is it like just anxiety and he's just hitting the wood? I would like it to be a knock on wood gesture because he he hopes that everything will go okay for him and he's made this relationship. I I you know, I'm not a mind reader. Nobody here is a mind reader. I've really looked at mind readers actually and they just don't exist. There is nobody out there who can read people's minds. Uh, certainly none of us are in that department. They don't exist. But I'd like it to be the way that I've seen it there. Greg, what do you got on this one? Yeah, Mark, what I've seen in my life many, many, many times before somebody gives up is coming to closure, rubbing things, tactile movement, that kind of stuff. I've had more than one time where a person, you leave them in the room and you see them rubbing their palms on something, mm -hmm. you come back and they're ready to give up. So it remember, <laughs> these guys are in a habit trail. We're looking at everything they do. They're like in a little aquarium or an ant farm. We're watching every movement. So when we leave, it's with if we think that they're getting relaxed, we go right back in and jack up their anxiety. It's part of it. So I've seen it happen many times. So I think that's all it is. But yeah, that's a more beautiful story. I think it's a great idea. It's, and maybe there's some psychological ploy going on. But there's a good indicator that she has gotten him to be internally focused and that he misunderstood when she said, I'm going to get up and get some water. He didn't say she didn't say anything about him. What we know about captivity and about all of that being locked up is that everything becomes about self. It's one of the two factors we rely on: black and white thinking. It's not a. It's not A B C D E or G. It's A or G. We eliminate all those in betweens, and people's brains start to work in black and white, and everything becomes about them. For example, Sear, when you go after, when you walk into a crowd of people, the guy standing here is thinking, "Oh my God, they're coming after me!" Not they're coming after Chase. Poor guy. It's always about me. So all that stuff means that all this work has been done, and now this detective leaving him alone. While you might think that's a bad idea, she's got him so internally focused. If she chased to your point earlier, if she is tending it and not letting him have time to think, if she's tending it, if she walks out, gets water, brings in another stimulus. To your point about bringing in a 
sheriff or a cop or something and she cre- creates that last piece of stimulus so you can drive him back down that well if she stays out too long if she doesn't do something to stimulate the behavior then he gets the time to think again he comes out of that black and white he comes out of that self-driven thing and now we got a problem so it's a matter of timing how long it takes but i still think this is probably one of the hardest interrogations we're, we're going to see and artfully carried to this point scott what do you got all right. I, I think he knows he's I, obviously he knows he's being watched. He's a he's a police. Uh, he was a the chief or a chief somewhere else. And so he knows he's being watched. There's two, two, I took this two ways, Mark. I see where you're coming from. And that makes a lot of sense. One thing was, I think he wanted them to see him doing that for some reason. I don't know why. On the other side, I know he got um, he was arrested and he's in prison now for um, something more horrible. Um, or as uh, it's it's murder is yeah. horrible. It, this is horrible yeah. as well. Sexual assault. Yeah. 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 And I think maybe that may be some part of his mind. I think he's attracted to her and he can't reach out and touch her, but he can go over there and, and brush off that where she was sitting. I think that's what they he had to touch something in there. Cause I think something's wrong with this guy. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Probably am blah, blah, blah. But that that's what I think. I, I think it came from that that evil person that's in there doing it, being able to get that's as close as he's ever going to be able to get to her. And th- and that's what it was. Now, I thought something else was very interesting here. Did you see the way she picked that cup up and how she insisted on getting him water? Can you see where I'm going with this? I think mm-hmm. they I think for some reason she needed the DNA or one of the DNA. I could be completely wrong. Please come on this show and talk to us about this because I, that's killing me. I got to know what's up with that, whether you need the DNA or not, because she picks it up at the bottom, the lower part of the cup, and she keeps insisting that that he needs water. It could be part of her tactic to go in there and, you know, to bring another gift for you. Here's something else as I'm trying to help you. That could be it. But that's the perfect way, I think, to get the DNA from him. Um there was something else I wanted to talk about. What was it? Mm. Oh, well, totally missed it on that part. Uh, Chase, what do you got? I think that the DNA was a warrant collection. Mm-hmm. Like it was a it was a forced collection of DNA. Oh, okay. From what I read, I briefly read online. To say, but, oh, okay. And but this it, face it. and hands is classic pre-confession. And this is right where you would instantly execute what they call there's a million words for it, but a, a confession bridge technique. Scott commonly talks about reaching out, touch them, say their name, depending on the type of person you're dealing with. And this is why it's so important to know the psychology of who you're talking to, because different people are going to react to that stuff differently. I'm going to go on a limb here and say, in my opinion, the reason he wipes off that chair is not something that I'm willing to talk about on YouTube. As I know kids have access to this or might hear it in the background, but I will say that it probably has something to do with temperature and proximity to what caused that temperature. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, you said it cleaner than I did. <laughs> One of those tape replays. I'm going to get some water. No, that's all right. No, I'm going to go get some water. Oh, you're going to get some water. <laughs> all right, I'll give you all that. I'm going to go get some water. Okay. You know, if you take a cup with me just in case you want, I can bring you some now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I'm not being. No, I don't want it. Hey. Well, what's that? I'm going to walk that way anyway. Yeah, so you can be with me. I'll get you some more. Right. It might help you stay awake a little bit to refresh you. I'll be right Me every time I just that. I don't get it. Well, what was that? Air. Yeah. 
What is that? It's before. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I didn't have to, but... No, I know. Before this was not locked, and some people were in oh. that door, and like if you forgot to lock it before we started talking, like people would <laughs> walk in on me. Mm. Um, but anyways. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.